In today's video, we're gonna be counting down five of the dumbest gadgets ever. So at number five, we have headpants. I mean, they're like, they're like, you know, over the top for this one. But it actually states in the description of this uh, gadget, keep your controller closer to your head. Who the fuck does that? I mean, today guys, I'm gonna show you my, no, can you imagine a show and tell? Can you imagine show and fucking tell at school? Like, when they, they do these convention things, right, in school, it's like, show your best gadget and best invention. Can you imagine going into a gadget convention? Like, uh, just, I'll show you. Yo guys, how's it going? My name's Jake, and today I'm gonna be showing you my remote control that fits on your head. So it may look like a pair of pants, though in reality, it's a control holder. Keep your control close to your head. That's just amazing. Number four. So at number four, we have, quite literally, the sickest idea ever. Whenever they come up with this, they must have thought, you know what, I'm gonna take my sister's headband, stick it to my head with my phone. We have Bluetooth things for this, right? We have, you can literally connect your phone to your car these days, and it, your, your car will speak to you. It's like Herbie, you know? Well, I mean, I can't comprehend this. It literally looks like they've taken a headband slapped it to their face, or their head even, and then just stuck their phone there and just held it there. It's like, what the actual fuck on earth? So at number three, we have one of the craziest inventions ever. This is literally taking it back to the old times, right? When I was a kid. I still now, but still. When I was a toddler. But these caps, right, everyone used to wear them. So someone must have thought, in our day and age, you know what, let's try bringing them back. You know, let's try and make this a trend. Try and make it cool. Mate, you failed. Y you just... <coughs> they literally took the hat, stuck a phone in the end, well, a little late, they literally just took their sock, slipped on the end, stuck their phone in it, and was like, bloody brilliant. It's like my phone's floating in front of me. In front of me, about 12 inches. But seriously, who the fuck would wear that? Can you imagine going into this, like, a shop like that? Bang! Knock into someone. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Was watching HD porn. Thought I was in the action. You'd be walking down the road, like, swinging your hips at. What the fuck? So, at number two, we have quite literally the stupidest gadget ever. I mean, an egg boiler. It doesn't. It, it just doesn't fit into my head properly. I just can't get it in there. Who comes up with it? You know what? Can you imagine if you had a chip boiler, an egg boiler, a bacon boiler, a chicken boiler? You fucking, you won't be able to move in the kitchen, you go in the kitchen, oh, what am I going to use today? Let me find the coffee maker. That's already come up with that, that wasn't even quite funny, that wasn't even cool either. The pop. Can you imagine if you had an accessory for literally every gadget, every food? That you own in your house, pizza maker, burger maker, chip maker, bacon burger, egg maker, what the fuck, like, who, who would want this? I most certainly wouldn't. So at number one, this is most likely going to be one of the laziest things I've ever seen. So you're driving down a motorway, in your car, and you're like, you know what, it's against the law to use my phone, so I'll just grab my remote control. You're trying to change a radio station, not paying attention to the roads, no! You're paying attention to changing it to BBC3. Or, or the wave. Yeah, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. Oh! Dead. Plus, it's literally like two fucking inches from your arm. The gear stick, you know, if, if you live in the UK, because I know a lot of you Americans use automatics. But still, it's like two inches from your body, you just click a button, sorted. No, not this one. I mean, like, you know what? I can't be bothered to reach for that. I'll just reach for the controller, which is probably going to be even further than the fucking thing. Uh, I'll put my controller on a dashboard today. What is the point in this? Yeah, it's good for backseat drivers. 
but it specifically says it's invented as a gadget to be used for the driver. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> yeah, it was a good day.